Hi friends, today I am with the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. In this video, we are going to talk about all the features for the coming with this laptop. We will also talk about the gaming review, the specification and even the hardware also. So keep watching the video to know every detail about Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. So let's start the video first. The Asus VivoBook S15 OLED comes with a 15.6 inch big display, it has a 2.8K pixel resolution and it also comes with the Intel Core i9 processor which we got for review. It, it comes with the aluminium body, it weighs around 1.7 kg, it comes with the 17.9 mm of thinness, it has a US military standard which is 810H military guard standard it will be coming in three colors including cool silver solar blue and cream white it will be coming with 16 gb of ram and it has a storage of 512 gb or 1 tb there are two options for storage if you talk about the top panel it comes with the asus vivo book to print it on the top it has a clamp which is rubberized this will be help to open the lead so this is definitely very helpful you can check it out and it also differentiates with the Asus other models too. Now coming to the bottom part, it has the speaker wheels in the bottom, it has the exhaust vent also in the bottom, it comes with the rubberized pad with the black and the orange accent. The orange color is being very widely used, it is more appealing to the youth and it looks pretty much different. Even the escape key is also in orange color which I will show you separately. If you see the hinge, it is also written Asus Vivo book. It looks pretty much decent and the branding is done quite well. So this is what it looks of the overall feature of Asus Vivo book S15 OLED. If we talk about the ports, let's discuss the ports from the left side. If we start, it has some exhaust vents there. It also comes with the Indicators, these indicators are basically for the charging and also for the hard disk. This is the two things the indicator are here. There is a USB port which I will tell you later on. The laptop can slide up to 180 degree so you can bend up to 180 degree. This is the maximum which you can do with the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. Now talking about the ports, it comes with the Thunderbolt 4 port which supports 40 Gbps data transfer, it also supports 4K display and also 65 watt charging. It comes with the USB 3.2 generation 2 type A port, it comes with the type C port and also USB 2.0 present. It has a HDMI 1.4, it comes with the 3.5 amp port and also a DC in. So these are the ports what are coming in this laptop. Let's talk about the display. It comes with the very minimum thin bezels on the side and the top. It has a 15.6 inch display with a resolution of 2880 into 1620 pixels which is 2.8K. It also has a 600 nits of brightness. It comes with the SDR True Black which is 500. It has a privacy shutter on the camera. The camera here what we are getting is, is the full HD camera and even if we talk about the display, the display has a Dolby Vision. I have tried too many Asus laptop in last two years and trust me the OLED display panel is one of the best what comes with the Asus. Even their sound quality is also top notch. Now let's talk about the few other things. It includes about the charger. The charger in the box what we are getting is a 90 watt fast charger and the battery inside the laptop is 75 watts out. The good part is that you can charge your laptop with this one also this port and even you can also charge with the type C. I will definitely like to show you that. The best part is that charging a laptop with two different ports is something very unique which you don't usually see in a laptop brand. Here currently I am charging with a type C port and it is working completely fine. There is charging and it will also show you unplug. And now if I am charging with a, uh, this one, the power adapter what we got in the box, it is still charging. 
so now if we talk about the keyboard it comes with the orange uh, color which is the escape key then there is a the, uh, volume control there is a brightness control there are few options where you can increase your brightness these are all function keys even you can disable or enable your touchpad which is definitely a great thing even you can there is a backlit key which you can increase the brightness and you can also switch off the backlit key even you can use the multi monitor you can switch on or switch off the microphone which is present inside this even you can take a screenshot doing a snippet of it then there is also a shortcut for my asus which will actually take you inside this the app is very useful uh, because it will let you to do the customization of your laptop which is kind of helpful even you can update your driver which is definitely a great thing you don't have to go and search for that even you can do a checkup on your blue screen error slow system wireless connectivity driver error there are too many things even you can do the customization of the power performance audio visual and the input devices this is completely up to you how you want to customize your laptop you want a balanced laptop or you want something to save your energy and even it has the fan uh, fan speed can be also controlled even the mics the sounds even the oled also can be Uh, change to true life it has too many functions which i will definitely recommend you guys to have a look this is the customization of everyone who is using the laptop this is based on themselves on the uh, it is not something which i can tell you which is the best mode every user has a different mode even if you talk about the battery life the average battery life for this laptop is around 6 to 7 hours for me using all the entertainment a little bit video editing and with some more few things which is definitely a great thing even if you talk about one more additional feature which the laptop is offering it is also gives you a complete control in the front home page only in my asus i will definitely recommend you guys to have a look have a check and even you can customize things according to your need not what i have said for myself Now coming to the security which is one of the most important thing in the laptop yes you can put a password but it also has a fingerprint sensor which is a power button on the right top most of this how it works i will definitely like to show you the, you just go and have to search about the fingerprint sensor once you do that the fingerprint sensor there is a fingerprint recognition in the account just go inside that it will take few seconds even you can register multiple fingerprint even you can un- also unlock your laptop with the face so currently the face unlock will not work if i have a privacy shutter on but for fingerprint it is very easy you have to go inside that there is a option to register your finger even you can register multiple fingers which is a great thing for a costly laptop so just go inside it and there is a add fingerprint so uh, currently i have already registered one i am removing that one and i will show you how to set up one so currently i will do the setup i have to enter the pin manually once it is done i have to put tapping on the fingerprint sensor here you can see the top right button i am just tapping on it multiple times and the fingerprint will be registered it is very easy it will take very less time and it also gives you security for for the laptop which is definitely a great thing because you need that kind of security even you can also register your face unlock this will be helpful now talking about the keyboard it comes with the full fledged keyboard where you also get the numpad separately it comes with the backlit too if we talk about the keyboard a little bit in detail it comes with the 19.05 mm pitch distance it has a 1.4 mm key travel so this is all about the keyboard if we talk about the hardware it the laptop which we got is intel core i9 which is a 13th gen intel chipset it has a 16 gb of ram and 1 tb of internal storage If we talk about the YouTube maximum resolution what the laptop supports it supports up to 8K video playback I will definitely like to show you it does play 8K 
and even it can also play 4K video very easily in this laptop. It definitely requires a good internet speed, so keep that in mind too. This is Geek Benchmark Score for CPU. This is Geek Benchmark Score for GPU. You can pause the video and check the scores. And this is the PC Mark 10 scores. So all the benchmark scores have been given here. You can pause the video and check the scores of them. Now talking about the laptop which is coming with the 16 GB of RAM, it has a 1 TB of storage where you are getting a Core i9 13 gen. Definitely we would love to play some games. I have tried and played game like Gotham Knights. It was fluid. There was no lag or hang. So if you are a gamer, you can play a good graphic games like Gotham Knight in this laptop. Now for the color, there is some catch. So i5 512GB will be coming in a blue color and a silver color. But if you go for core i5 1TB storage, you will get a white color. Core i7 with 512GB will be coming in a blue color. So Core i7 will be coming only with a 512GB storage. Core i9 will be coming with a 1TB storage where you will get silver and blue color in option. So keep this in mind. Now recapping few things. It comes with a 15.6 inch display where you are getting a 2.8K resolution. It has a 120Hz refresh rate. It comes with the Asus OLED. Lumia, it comes with the 600 nits of brightness, it has a Dolby Vision, it comes with the core i9 processor what we got but there will be an option for i5 and i7, the RAM will be 16 GB and there is a storage option of 512 GB and 1 TB, this will be Gen 4 SSD hard disk and it has a Wi-Fi 6E uh, for connectivity, it has a Dolby Atmos speaker with Arpen Carton. It is running on Windows 11 Home. It is an aluminium body and it costs around 1,9900. It will be available on Amazon, also Flipkart, even including the Asus online and offline store. So this is all about Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. This is Vivin signing off. Please like the video, share the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us.